Hey, hey, I'm Cam Day. Welcome to the channel and to today's video. As always, I am so happy to have you here. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're in a good mood. If not, I hope to help you at least a little bit. Uh, life can be crazy, but there's always fun things, right? And today I want to show you one of my favorite fun things, and that is the world of Merit Beauty. And you're like, Merit Beauty in this cute little adorable corduroy pouch? Yes. This, uh, if you've seen any ads for Merit, or if you already have Merit and you're just looking for a different perspective, you want to try different shades, you came to the right place. But if you haven't purchased yet and you're just doing a little research, pre-search, I got you. Yes, this little bag comes with your first order, and I've had this for over two years. Um, it's adorable, I use it all the time, and it's really nice quality. A lot of times kind of freebies feel like they were free donuts, but this is really nice. So you're gonna like her. In just a moment, we will be diving in. I'll be walking you through basically my entire Merit collection. So all of the products that I have, my thoughts on them, how I like to use them, and how I've gotten to the point where I use them in the certain ways that I do, because many of them are meant to be kind of multi-use. So figuring out which ways to use them in multiple ways, but also just like what's easiest, what I go to, and what makes my process super simple as I get ready for the day. Basically, we're gonna be putting together this super easy, minimalist, everyday look using these Merit products. If you've seen any of Merit's marketing, you may think chic, elevated, minimalist, boss lady kind of vibes. You would be right, but just know that if you don't already feel that, you will once you use these things. So just know it's not a prerequisite, okay? This is for anyone and everyone who's looking for a little bit more of an elevated, everyday product routine. Everything's very elegant, everything's very simple. I would still consider it in an affordable price range, and if not, definitely an aspirational set of products. And I just think there's a little something for everybody. So I'm really looking forward to walking through all of this with you today. Starting with the base, using the Perfecting Complexion Stick. Say that five times fast. Perfection Complexion Stick. Perfecting Complexion Fun fact, and very important if you're looking to pick up this complexion stick, Merit actually just relaunched this. They're kind of go doing like a reintroduction campaign because they, I'm pretty sure, started their line with this product when they launched at least a couple years ago. And over that time, they collected a lot of user feedback and they reintroduced her. So that's something that I will always love hearing from a brand is that they listen to their customers and give them what they want, you know? It's like we're a family, we're a community, we're collaborating. I'm always, I'm here for it. So what I have right now is the original packaging. It's still very luxe. It's beautiful product to just hold and pull out of your makeup drawer or your bag and use. And it's multi-purpose, which I think we can all get on board with. If you just wanna do a little concealer under the eyes, it's great for that. If you wanna spot conceal a pimple, it's great. You can also just use it everywhere else for fuller coverage. It's just really nice to have something that versatile. But as far as the look and the size goes, you can tell that it's a pretty small and narrow area for the actual product itself. So when they reintroduced it, it now has almost two times more product. I think it's 1.7 to be exact, but it's a really beautiful thing knowing that, you know, something that is supposed to be used everywhere, you can use easily and a little bit more freely knowing that you have more product. So keep that in mind. I do already have my skincare down and I do have a light layer of MAC face and body, uh, just a really light skin tint, just so you know, and that will help inform how this applies to my skin, but I've used it on bare skin and it's very, very similar, but this is just the kind of layering that I like to do when I use a product like this. But I'll just show you how easily it glides onto the skin. Sometimes with stick products you may have experienced, because I know I have, they can be really thick feeling, maybe even a little bit waxy, and you almost have to tug it on the skin, and then you get too much product and it's not easy to blend, and just not an easy experience. I will tell you that this is not the case with this from Merit. Sometimes it can be a little overused, but I do think buttery is the right word for this girl right here. And I don't feel like I need to let it set at all to really get the coverage that I want. I can just go in and start blending right away. And since the angle of the brand is really like makeup for minimalists, I'm not gonna suggest using any sort of tool to apply this because it really 
is based on your preference. It blends just as easily with a brush as it does a sponge, as it does your fingers. And you get layerable coverage each time. So it really is just whatever you have, whatever is easiest. Merit does have a brush, now that I think about it, that you can use to blend the complexion stick and also for their cheek tints, um, the flesh balms, but I don't have it and I don't feel like I need it. However, if you need a brush, it looks like a beautifully multi-purpose brush. So definitely check that out if you're looking for it. Up by the brows, because I always have a little bit of redness there and this just helps blend the rest of the face together. And then let's look at the under eyes. I do have a little bit of darkness there and I didn't use any of my skin tint there. I never do. And just with light blending, we're covered, we're even, very natural looking. It's super simple. And like I said, it's layerable. So if you ever feel like you need extra coverage anywhere, just reapply straight from the stick or you can just use your finger and kind of dab it on and you can really just kind of customize that experience. So I definitely recommend kind of playing with it the first few times that you get it and that you use it to really figure out which way you like to apply it, what feels best, what works best. But the cool thing is that you can experiment like a jillion ways because it's just that flexible and versatile. The real bonus about the complexion stick for me is one, the blendability. It's just really easy to use, so it's easy to apply, whether you're touching up in the middle of the day or putting it on for the first time. It's just really, really easy and doesn't take a lot of skill, which is just nice, especially if you're in a rush or you don't have a mirror. Like, if you're really playing that game and you don't have a mirror and you need to do a touch up, this is something I would recommend using because it's almost that foolproof. And two, it's like the flexibility of the product itself and the shade. A lot of times I don't ever just use one product on my face because I usually need a little bit of dimension. I usually go a little bit lighter under the eye or I have to do some color correcting to balance out any darkness. And this makes it really easy to just use the one everywhere and still have a really natural, even flush and I don't feel like I need to like rebalance anything. It just looks like my face, but everything's even. The finish is really natural looking. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte. It never dries me out throughout the day. I just, it sits beautifully and I love it. I kind of get this hair out of the way. So I'm gonna do a little tucking behind the ear and see how we go. Just so that I can show you a little bit more of the canvas that we're working with. Next, we're gonna bring some color to the cheeks with one of my favorites, the Flush Balm cheek color. I was gonna call it a tint, but Flush Balm. And I think that is a perfectly appropriate name for it, and I'll show you why. But first, I wanna show you this little glow up of their packaging. This is the original packaging of their Flush Balm. So if you ever saw Merit, if you ever saw any of their Instagram ads or saw them on Sephora's website or the app, this is what you would see. She's very neutral, she's subdued simple and adorable. And I haven't seen a cheek product like this. Like I've seen the sticks from Milk. Let me see if I have it out here. I do. Milk makeup, right? You have a tube and it really just looks like it's that but cut in a third. And it just makes it so much more easy to just pop in a bag. I like the way it applies. I don't know. I just think it's fun and kind of novel. I'm here for it. But now meet Flush Balm 2.0. She is golden, she's glowed up. The size is the exact same. The formula hasn't changed. It's truly just a packaging and an aesthetic change that I'm really here for because I've had this in my bag for if mm, for months now, like three, four months. And I've had products that have had this type of finish flake off within a week. And she's looking good. Nothing has changed. It doesn't tarnish. It doesn't scratch. It's def it's not metal. I will tell you that. So it's going to feel super lightweight, but it just looks really nice. It doesn't get too smudgy or fingerprinty either, which is really impressive. But again, for a minimal makeup setup, which is what Merit is all about, this is a beautiful and lovely addition to it. And I just think a nice little upgrade. This is the shade Beverly Hills, which on the website they call it like a soft peach. But in real life, if you take it out of the packaging, it looks a lot more like a, a light pink, but not too of a like purpley pink, definitely more of a peachy pink, but still very subtle and will add a nice pop of warmth to the cheeks. And the original shade that I have is Terracotta, which is a 
terracotta color. Um, nice kind of like clay, warm, orangey tone to it that I think with more fair skin, you can probably get away using this as a bronzer. And then as your skin kind of gets a little bit deeper, this will still be a lovely, you know, sun-kissed look to just warm cheek color. I've experimented a good handful of ways figuring out the best way to apply this to my cheeks and I found that using a dense fluffy brush like this, this is actually a foundation brush from Sephora, it's a number 56 if that's helpful to you. Um, this works really well because it gets the most amount of product directly from, I'm going to call it a bullet even though that's a lipstick term, but I, hmm, from here onto the cheeks and I'm just going to put it right where I want it and I like to kind of stipple it so that just means bobbing up and down just like this trying to get the hair out of the way and I hope you can see it has a really beautiful subtle glow to it in addition to the color so if you're used to using like really pigmented and like full coverage cream products this is definitely not that which is why as I was saying it's perfectly appropriately named as flush balm because it really is this flush of color that you do have to kind of build up if you want a little bit more intensity but it's just the perfect wash of color the perfect flush if you will and it does have a balmy texture so if your skin is a little bit more oily you may want to use this as kind of a base color and then use more of a powder blush on top if you want to really set it if you're afraid that your makeup's going to kind of move over the course of the day and if you're a little bit drier this is going to feel so nice on your skin and it's going to leave that highlight that you may want to build up on with a different type of highlighter um, but for my oily folks or more combo i definitely find myself kind of in the middle i don't even need to use a highlighter after this just because of that really nice natural glow it's nice because it's not too wet either you know like i don't feel like it's sticking to my face i don't feel the texture of it once i'm done applying it you know it doesn't feel like oh i just have something thick and oily on my skin it's really light really fresh feeling but you definitely have to build it up if you want more coverage and i do understand that this is a light color and i'm definitely in a little bit more of like a medium skin tone so i'm sure i could get more bang and more oomph with a darker color but i like i like the lightness and i like kind of playing with the finish if you are wondering and if you think you would like to try this yourself um why i don't apply it directly from the packaging to my face one sometimes i feel like i get a little bit too pressure heavy and because i use too much pressure applying it to my face sometimes you can kind of break down the layers of foundation or complexion stick or skincare underneath so it's more of a mental thing for me than an actual aesthetic thing um, and I also just like that I can get a lot more on the brush as I go rather than feeling like I have to really just dig it into my skin if that makes sense but I think it's just because I'm heavy-handed but I will show you just on the back of my hand as I apply this directly from the packaging the kind of flush that you'll get really light really simple but so beautiful. And while I've got you here, nice and up close, I'll do a comparison next to terracotta. So clearly a lot warmer, a lot deeper, but they both still have that sheen, that balmy texture that is just gonna give you the most, most healthy, delicious glow. Next up is brows using their volumizing pomade, again, in that beautiful, sleek packaging. I know sometimes all gold or all metallic packaging can sometimes seem a little bit much, but I do have to tell you, it's really so sleek and chic. It's very nice. The, uh, the brow product has a little bit of weight to it. Definitely not like the flush balm, super light, weightless even and then this one she's got a little bit more thickness to her which is really nice because you know what i'm talking about just having that luxe feel in your hand as you apply something or as you go grab for something really levels up your experience so here's my trick and my tip when you first get this look where it has the name merit that's going to be your base hand this longer part is the handle I was so confused the first few times I went to grab for this. I was like, oh, oh. So just know where the name is and the shorter side is actually where the product is. So the longer side is the handle, which I like and I don't. I like because I will always prefer to have a longer handle. Maybe it's the makeup artist in me. 
I, I'm not too sure. I just like having the ability and the option to change the length. And a lot of times with brow products, especially pomades, especially ones with little spoolies, you get an equally small handle and I just feel like I'm too close and not getting a lot of control. So what I mean about like having the option of using the length when you're a little bit farther away, I think you can out see a little bit more of your brow and you can just get a little bit more you know, flowy with it. If you want to get closer, that just means you want to get up close and you want to add more color and you want to be a little bit more specific. Um, but you have the option that way. So I do like that. Uh, however, it is just really confusing. And optically, knowing that I only have this much product when I could have had this much product, sometimes makes me a little sad. So that's my note. Otherwise, the product itself is very nice. I have the shade Black Brown, which I truly think is the perfect combination of both. My brows themselves are actually black. So a lot of times I do end up with a black pomade that sometimes can be a little bit too deep or I just get a little crazy and go like Groucho Marx or looking like one of the Sesame Street guys, you know, like Bert and Ernie and they're really thick eyebrows, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this is the perfect combination. I get the depth that I want that matches my brows. So it doesn't look like, like I'm using anything too warm or too cool to be honest, but it just, you know, you can see the difference as it's just sitting on top of the brow hairs. This has the perfect texture. The spoolie itself is kind of tapered, so you can get a really nice grip on the hairs and just kind of change the application as you go. The texture is really nice it's not too liquidy you know how sometimes you get a product like this or a mascara and fresh out of the tube it's just wet and you end up with too much I really don't feel that way with this and that helps control the amount that you use as you apply because if you are like me you know that it can be easy to overdo things especially on the brows so this makes it easy to kind of work in layers and get the perfect coverage that you want it also doesn't have a shiny finish and if you know what I mean and then you know what I mean. Sometimes like eyeliners and brow products can have a little bit of a sheen to them and I just don't really feel the need to have glossy brows. Not really my thing. So this has the perfect finish. It just blends right in with the hairs and it has a really beautiful staying power without feeling crunchy, waxy, or just thick in general. So it's easy to clean up if you ever get some on the skin. And it's also easy to go over again. So if you feel like, like I feel like I made this brow a little bit too angular, a little too straight up and down, what I'll do is just kind of scrape any product off of the spoolie back onto the handle and just kind of go through like it's its own spoolie because this is really firm, which is really nice to really get through your hairs. Um, I have some smaller brow products that just have the tiniest little spoolie that's not very strong and the teeth themselves are not very thick so I feel like I barely can actually get to my skin to deposit the product. Not the case with this but it's also not too hard. It's just right. I'll also always opt for a pomade over a gel because once you apply it, it's not going to set and harden and create like a, an ashy cast on top that you have to really brush through and then you've got flakes. It never does that. So if you ever need to go over it or redo it, touch it up, which I really have never had to do because this just stays on my face even when it's 100 degrees outside and I'm sweating, she stays there and so do my brows and it's really cool. Um, the pomade texture just makes it easy to make any changes if you need while still keeping some hold and feeling very comfortable. On to the last product that I actually own and have in my possession to show you and probably my favorite. Here we have the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick. She's beautiful. As with every Merit product before her, we have to take in the packaging. It's beautiful. It's luxurious. It's classy. And it has a wonderful feel to it. It doesn't feel like, you know, a stapler that you're going to throw in your bag. It's not that heavy, but it has a really nice weight to it. Again, giving that feel of just quality of luxury while not paying luxury prices and still getting that payoff. If you're curious before you buy, just know that the, the packaging, the top itself, is like this amber colored plastic. It's square. 
but it's not too big, you know, it's easy to hold, easy to throw into a bag, and then you have this golden bullet with a standard, you know, lipstick bullet shape, but it's just beautiful. It's so nice. It's got their logo and their little emblem stamped at the bottom, and it just easily, it has a very subtle click. That's probably my only note on this packaging. I wish it was a little bit more of a satisfying click, not necessarily just for the sound of it, but so that it feels a little bit more sturdy in there. I've had this rustling around in my bag for months and it's never separated, so keep that in mind. But just maybe for a peace of mind standpoint, I'd want it to be a little bit more of a serious click, knowing that they'll never separate, except for when you want to use it easily. I have the shade La Venue, which is in my own description, kind of like a in the bullet, it looks like a deep wine red, but I will give you a swatch so you can see for yourself. That is one swipe, and I usually do at least two layers because I just like the way that it looks. But it's definitely more of like a warm orangey brown slash red. Please don't ever hire me to name colors, but you have eyeballs. Hopefully, and if you don't, I'm happy to describe whatever you need. So please take that, uh, let's call it like a brick red, but it's very sheer. And then I have the shade Baby, which I've been waiting so long for. When they announced that this product was coming out, because this was not part of their original line, it's one of their newer launches, I was so excited. Baby was my girl. It was the color of all colors for me. And it sold out and it stayed sold out and they just restocked. And this just got in the mail. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll do a swatch right next to it. So you can see that's one swipe. Very sheer, a really light, lovely, like cool toned pink that I think is just gonna be so nice. It actually matches my nails which is kind of nice. A little bit mauve like I wouldn't call it a, a, a bright pink by any means. Definitely has some coolness to it, but not so much so that it's gonna, you know, suck the life out of the face. So, let me get these off my hands because I always end up getting swatches on anything and everything. Since I'm more of a toned down nude toned lip girl i'm gonna wear baby today also because i haven't put it on and i waited just for you so let's do this together i'm just gonna apply it like i normally would <sighs> super easy to just glide on oh look at her there it is i don't feel like i need any more it's weightless on the lips it's not thick and waxy like some standard lipsticks as you saw in the swatches it's very sheer so it's buildable i wouldn't say it's as sheer and as balmy as the flush balms so don't think of it as a tinted lip balm think of it as a very lightweight lipstick it's very comfortable on the lips there is a subtle fragrance to it so just keep that in mind if you're sensitive to fragrance like i am i wouldn't call it overpowering at all Although I will say it's a little bit more in the fruity category. Um, and because I have worn this other shade Lavenue before, uh, it does wear away. So it's not going to stick with you for the rest of the day if, you know, having that scent so close to your lips, to your nose, uh, really bothers you. Just know that it will wear off fairly soon. It's definitely the perfect texture for a blotted lip, which is really nice for some of their darker colors. Um, I'll even do a little bit of blurring at my lip line with this lighter shade just because I love the way that it looks. It's kind of this like lived in, undone, but just like two swipes and you're out the door or you're in the car and you're just on your way inside for dinner, just you're done. It's easy peasy. It's beautiful. I love their color range. I want to get all of them, but baby is the one that I've been waiting for. This is just right up my alley. And because it's a lipstick and because it's lightweight, yes, it does fade. It fades throughout the day which is why it's nice to have a beautiful packaging component to just keep with you to reapply when and as needed. And it's just fun and easy to do that. So no, it's not gonna be extra long wearing, but it fades really nicely and evenly throughout the day. And I just, I can't stop looking at this color. I just love it so much.
I put on a little bit of mascara just to complete the look because this is the face that I would wear out. I don't have Merit's mascara, however I've heard amazing things and I do have it on my list to try next. Um, I just have some stuff that I gotta get through first, but it's a tubing mascara from what I understand and or a fiber mascara, so just know that it has a little bit of extra technology behind it so that it coats every lash, adds a little bit of volume and length and usually tubing and fiber mascaras stay on really well. There's not a lot of smudging because it creates its own little case around each little lash and stays there all day until you wash it off with warm water and then you're just done. You don't have raccoon eyes, it's amazing. So that's next on the list. Because I didn't end up using La Venue, just because it's not usually like a go-to lip color for me, although she's beautiful, I am gonna show you what I like to do probably more often than actually wear it on my lips, is just add a little bit to the cheeks because it has a really nice finish and it obviously adds a little bit more pop than the Flush Balm did, but it's just so easy to blend in and I always will love to use lipstick as blush. It just reminds me of my mom. It reminds me of getting my cheeks pinched. It just feels like love but it has a similar texture to the Flush Balm in that it's easily blendable, has a little bit of that, you know, sheen to it because it is a lip product and it's gotta have a little bit of slip, but again, comfortable to wear, lasts pretty nicely throughout the day, and there have definitely been days where I have this on the lips and I just take whatever's left, put it on the cheeks, call it a day, which really just makes this the perfect minimalist makeup products and the perfect minimalist makeup routine. We'll do a hair fluff and a zhuzh, because this is the final product. If you have any questions about any of the products that we tried or anything that I haven't showed you today that you're curious about, let me know because I'd be happy to do some more demos, more reviews for you, but I just hope that you're able to get a little bit of a taste of the Merit Beauty minimalist experience. I really do think that these are quality individual products, but even better as a system. And I don't say that very often because I love to mix and match, but I really just, something about the packaging maybe, maybe I'm really falling for it, but it's it's just really easy to use these all together. I think they did a really beautiful job making the shades for the complexion stick and developing all of the shades for the colors. I think they're beautiful, wearable, everyday shades and just easy to mix and match for your mood, your outfit, and also they just match different complexions really well. And I think they do a good job of highlighting kind of the areas that people would fall into. Like for the lips, I'm definitely more of a nude girl and they have a couple good nude shades or more muted shades, but even the more deep and colorful and richer tones, I even am gravitating more toward because of how easy they are to just throw on. They're sheer, they're blendable, it's just really easy and fun to work with. I hope that I covered everything for you as you're looking to either add more merit to your routine or try it for the first time. But as always, chat with me down in the comments. I'm happy to have a conversation with you and help you discover a little bit more about these products, maybe compare them to some other things that you've seen. Just go for it. I'm your girl. Let's do it. Thank you so much for hanging in and for hanging out. I can get a little chatty. I just get excited about these things. Um, but as always, I'm so grateful that you're here and grateful to have you to sit down and walk through these things with. And I hope wherever you are and whenever you are that you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Love ya. Bye.